Hello, hello everyone, welcome to Cure Design. I'm Janine and in today's tutorial I show you how to make this little game. It starts with an uh, image of an instruction. When you start the recording, you see an animation and stop it with your mouth open. Okay, little snakes, let's start with this sweet little tutorial. Okay, let's start with the tutorial and yes, hello. We start uh, with a face tracker um, and a retouch. You don't need the retouch for uh, this uh, tutorial, but we need a face tracker. So just add a face mesh to your scene, add material. This is retouch, retouch. Matt and touching fifty percent smooth. And now we start uh, with uh, the plane uh, and this plane that's a uh, spirit animal. Add a material and in uh, this material, stop. And in uh, this material, we add a new animation sequence and as a new image texture. We use this animation sequence with uh, different animals in it. There are 41 images and I got this image images from uh, this website emoji.com and screenshot all of them and crop it uh, to single images in Photoshop. Now we see uh, the animation that's uh, good and you see we have 41 images and we want that every single image is uh, playing in one second. So frames per second 41 and randomize. Now just for me you can uh, leave it uh, the shader type uh, in uh, to standard so it reacts to your ambient light but I want uh, this flat. Now we um, add um, panel to my head to the face tracker. We need a patch editor face tracker and spirit animal position and rotation Oops, rotation. And now in your library right here, you have to, to use the library, you have to connect with Facebook, I guess, I'm not sure anymore. And in this uh, patch assets, you find utility and use this smoothing vector three for the uh, three dimensions, uh, X, Y, Z. Import, close the window and now you can add this smooth vector into your C, uh, into your patch editor. Duplicate that because you need one for your rotation and one for your Oops, position, 3D position. Perfect. Now you see uh, you can't move the um, dimensions in your um, scene. So uh, what you need is a null object. Control spirit animal and add uh, the plane to it and now you can use uh, the um, 
null object to move your plane. Yes. Let's start with the um, animation or with the control of the animation with a uh, face. Uh, uh, so we start with an, a simple anime, uh, simple patch with uh, when you blink uh, the animation stops and when you blink again the animation starts again. So it's a blink, switch, and animation loop loop animation sorry and frame transition and now we need the current frame add it to your, C, uh, your patch editor combine it now you see it's a uh, slower because there's not every frame included Every frame, uh, 41 frame. Now it works. I'm a tiger. I'm a duck. This could be very funny when you want to uh, make a scene where you uh, have to make a, no idea, a, a story or something like that where you see uh, whatever. Um, a kraken goes to an ant farm and kisses a frog or something like that. No idea. But we want that um, you see first an instruction, then you see when you hit record, your um, the animation starts and the instruction will disappear. And then when you open your mouth, uh, the animation stops and uh, you see your spirit animal. Okay. So we need for this a um, patch for the camera and front camera mm, and switch because uh, this is for the instruction we have to take uh, turn it on and off um, for the instruction we need uh, a rectangle a rectangle instruct and new material instruction mat right add a new texture instruction PNG start recording open your mouth to stop the animation hope that's Okay, and you see it's a little bit too small and we have just two dimensions so it's really on the canvas right there. Um, make it 3.5 and flat and a little bit higher. And maybe you can add a little bit of color into your instruction. Great. Now we link this instruction visibility to your camera. If the camera is on or you can see your filter, the switch go switch go turn on. And you see the instructions now and you see nothing, but we will uh, see it when we test this uh, filter in Spark AR player. So um, trust me, <laughs> it works. It will work. Okay. Now we want that if you start recording, the instruction have to disappear. On, if it's on turn off the instruction and when you hit the record button your uh, spirit animal will be 
visible. Now you could you turn pulse on start turn the switch on you see nothing i know but you will see it uh, when i test it in spark air player now we want to uh, add the patch mouth open instead of blink And when you open your mouth, you can you turn the animation off. Okay, now we test this filter in your uh, your mobile device. Um, I record uh, my voice <laughs> with that uh, thingy right now, and yes, let's start with that. Open the Spark AR player and send the filter to your app. And when you start the um, record, uh, the animation will start. And when you open your mouth, uh, your animation will stop. Oh. I'm a hamster, yay! Great. So uh, thank you uh, everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, this little tutorial. If you have any, any questions, please leave me a comment or send me a DM via Instagram at Kino Design. We see us next week and enjoy the process.